Right, so it's the 12th of um, October and uh, I've received this a couple of days early, which I was surprised about. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping it's all right because it feels like the box that they've tried to put it in is too small for it. It's like it's bent a bit there. I'm hoping it's all right because the problem is I'll have a right time, you know, trying to replace it because it's sold out. And HMV's customer service is crap. Oh! That is actually good, this. That. <laughs> so yeah, it's in a box inside a box. Okay, I have a bit more faith now. There it is. Okay, so it looks like it's arrived uh, fully intact. <laughs> yep. That's good. So yeah, this is a Nightmare on Elm Street 40th Anniversary Edition and uh, this is the 4K Steelbook. It is also available as a standard 4K but yeah, this 4K Steelbook Edition is long sold out and it's a bloody expensive one. It's £45. £45! Oh, I'm surprised actually that um, Scream Factory uh, didn't get the rights to this and that, so obviously Warner Brothers must have realised very lucrative. Um, and I'm glad, in a way, I'm glad they didn't because it meant that you know this was just straight up available in the UK, I didn't have to import or anything. So, yeah, I do quite like the artwork. These are stickers, these are stickers on the front as well, so you can remove them and that if you wish. But uh, I'm glad that the Steelbook uses a slightly altered version of the original poster artwork. There we go, there's the two discs. 4K disc, just in time for Halloween. Hopefully the other Nightmare on Elm Street uh, will get the 4K treatment. Particularly um, the first four. And that, the first four films. Because uh, Dream Warriors is my favourite, though I do I do like, um, it's grown on me a lot over the years, uh, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. That one I really do like. Um, but uh, I've been putting off watching it again for this Halloween because I wanted, you know, to start with the first one. And obviously it was getting a 4K release, so yeah, I, I think this has Dolby Vision. I'm pretty sure this is a Dolby Vision release. Mine's most 4K Blu-rays coming out now generally are Dolby Vision for the most part. Ah, here's uh, my number, which is uh, eighteen thousand and forty-three out of uh, twenty-seven thousand four hundred. I'm not sure if there's a significance to that number. But uh, I think in the UK, I think the UK, um, it's limited to 4,000 in the UK. Um, like, I think that's the worldwide number, and I think the UK got 4,000. At least that's what I've heard. I could be wrong. All I know is uh, this sold out fairly quickly. Let's have a look and see what we get inside. Um, where can I plonk plonk this down? And we'll just pop that down there for a second. So we'll start with what looks to be a poster. Although it is a folded up one, so. Mm. So there we go, that seems to be the original poster for the film there. And uh, then an alternate one on the back. Oh, nice one, good. I'd be curious to, if anyone actually does frame these posters. Um, I don't, because one, I don't really have any wall space for them, but two, even if I did, I think the creasing on them, even when you flatten them out, you can still see like a line going across them. We got a nice little book looks here. Which uh just got flipping through it. Move the camera in a little bit for that. So 
Just a bunch of air publicity type ones. Yeah, I am holding it the right way. Wait, why is this that way yet the pictures are all upside down? That's weird, I've just noticed that. Some of them are one way around and some of them are the other. Is it meant to be that? Can't be. Yeah, for some reason the first half of the booklet the pictures are one way up and then the second half of the booklet they're the other way up. I don't know if that's like a manufacturing error or what. But there, that's a, it's a weird thing that. Because look, it is upside down now. But uh, that, look, that picture's that way up. That picture... It's that way up. This is very inconsistent on what we... Whoever did this, the pictures are just like, some of them are the right way around, some of them are upside down. That is weird. That is weird, like some of them are just upside down. That aren't meant to be upside down. There we go. And uh, finally, we've got some art cards. All the same on the back, by the way. So yeah, there we go. Um, I'll put them back away now. Slide them back into this little compartment there. There we go. End the poster. Let's be honest, though. How many of us are actually going to look at these again? I don't know. <laughs> but that's just me being honest there. Um, actually, will this fit in here? Yeah, it will. I'm going to put this in there just so it's not loose. Inside the box, I'm going to put the number. There we go. Just so the number isn't loose inside. There we go. That can slide in quite nicely. Um, I don't know whether I want to be... Ooh. There we go. Let's look some other back. And uh, I'm going to put that right back down. So it stays on there quite nicely. There we go. But uh, yeah, as I say, say unfortunately, um, at least in the UK, this is long since sold out. Unfortunately. So yeah, as I said, you can only get as a, a standard edition. And that's all the same scuff and that on here. But, you know, as a collector's edition. No such luck, although it, it might still be worth um, checking around just in case like there's any cancelled orders or they find some extra stock and that, or even in store maybe, but uh, yeah, we'll see. But uh, yeah, very happy uh, to have this nonetheless. <laughs>